I lied to you guys. I lied in the last video. I carry this, it feels like a statement. Like, here's my bag. Hi dolls, Laura Sparkles here. Welcome back to my channel where we do talk about mostly perfumes, purses, styling, those types of things, but mostly perfume, at least in the next few weeks, months, we'll see how long it takes for this declutter I'm doing. <laughs> but in the meantime, if you like that type of content, please do hit subscribe, like the video, all those good things. So I want to jump into it. I lied to you guys. I lied in the last video. If you haven't checked it out, I'll link it here. The $55,000 haul that I did, this huge perfume video, <laughs> and I kept saying certain things, and there were like five things that I lied about. One, two, three, four, five. They weren't done intentionally, but I did lie five times. Before I get into all of those lies that I told, <laughs> I just wanted to tell you guys I received this very special package today this very special mail item that I've been waiting for for months and it is so gorgeous and if you caught the last video too you know my first niche purchase of perfume back in 2006 and actually this very lovely woman in the fragrance community who's also an artist sketched me this you guys look at how beautiful this is this is my beloved lipstick rose this gorgeous sketch she did with the notes and the year and I almost wanted to cry when I got it. It's so special. So I got that today and so in honor of this beautiful artwork that I received today I am wearing Lipstick Rose as my scent of the day and it's literally one of my favorites and I know it's not the most popular, definitely not out of the Frederick Mall line, definitely not in this fragrance community. <laughs> But for me, there's something about it, it's, it just smells like vintage, almost like how most wines smell and taste in Europe, but like this old vine vintage, but not in like a stuffy, weird way. Just like this special, like there feels like there's so much history to it and, and then oh, all the notes, I'm obsessed, like the rose. Right now I'm getting a lot of the iris and the violet. And then I get some of that fruit that's in there, the raspberry. I'm getting that kind of on the end. It's just lovely. And to me it just feels like glamour and oh, like just gorgeous. It reminds me of, it was my first trip to Paris. It reminds me of Paris. It reminds me of old Hollywood. <laughs> it's just so... It's so lovely. And the rose. I've always been a big fan of rose, and I know that's probably not the most popular scent either, but for me, it's like a must. I need it. <laughs> I need it in my life. Oh, so just a very special day. Like this, I will cherish this forever. This is so lovely. I feel like a very lucky girl. So that's kind of the update what's happening today let's jump in I'm gonna tell you all about the things I lied about <laughs> and let's do it all right guys so I was just about to start filming all of the perfume things and fragrance and my nail popped off <laughs> and I can't stand that like I just want my nails to be done so I found a little trick and I just wanted to share it with you and I actually started doing my nails you know after lockdown happened I used to always go to a salon but now I do them myself and I use a dip powder gel and I think I just haven't been prepping them well enough I tend to have like kind of oily skin and oily hair and oily nail beds clearly that they've just been popping off because I think I've only had them for about a week <laughs> this set so I just wanted to show you a little hack that I found in a pinch and actually what the first hack is if you have the nail intact literally this almost acts as like a super glue and you can just brush it on and then you know hold the nail down for a couple minutes and then you're good to go so I've been doing that lately but I unfortunately can't find the nail so <laughs> what I do instead in these cases I wanted to show you so my nails are kind of thin typically under the the dip gel so what I do to keep them strong is first I'll do a, a coat of this nail glow by Dior and it seems to just 
make them a little more pink and strong and otherwise they're just gonna break instantly. Okay, so I start with the Dior Nail Glow. So I just applied that and it's dry. So now I found, and maybe you guys know about these, but these amazing little nail stickers. I don't know, where's just like salon gel? Mm, not so sure, <laughs> that's true. They actually, to me, feel kind of sticky. So if I'm gonna wear them as like a full set after I put them on, then usually I'll like coat them with a top coat. I do think I'll, I'll probably end up doing these a new set probably tomorrow, but I just, they take so long. I just wanted, it, literally, you guys, how long does it take? It, for me, it takes like two hours <laughs> to do a full set of nails. So I don't wanna take all that time right now. I really wanted to film this video for you instead. So you do, they're stickers, super simple. And I thought I'd share, and I'll link this in the description if I could find it or something similar. But basically you just place the sticker ever so precisely on your nail and then you just press it, you know, kind of from the middle and then out. And then you take your file, you just kind of file them, you know, with the nail. And tell me in the comments, what do you guys do for your nails? So there it is, now I can film. <laughs> and what happens for me too is I get kind of dry skin often, like in the cuticles kind of start to grow in. I actually apply this, this is doTERRA. I mean, if you know about essential oils, you know doTERRA probably, but I use them, I'm not like a diehard or anything, but what I do love is this Correct X. This is insane, you guys. This Anytime I have like kind of this dry skin or sometimes it'll like peel around, I will apply this and actually need to get another one. It's like an ointment that is great. Like if you have, like I have these, a scrape, this might be from the kitty. My, I mean, she's a big cat, but I call her a kitty. <laughs> scrape me. So you just kind of apply it to your nail bed and where you want it to heal and gives it moisture it just really like instantly helps to heal these little bits that can hurt and get dry and i don't know if you have that problem but i do but yeah so check this out i'll try to link this too it's amazing like literally i have a friend who has trouble with you know where things kind of get cracky and bleedy on the sides and i bought her one of these and she said it was like better than any like high-end type of thing that she could find so that's that guys okay so now I'm gonna get into the filming <laughs> that I wanted to do so I'll clean this up and I'll be right back all right you guys so I legit lied like at least five lies <laughs> from the last video and they weren't intentional but I realized after posting and editing it that there were some lies there <laughs> that I wanted to clear up so all right so the first lie was that there were 18 backup bottles and it wasn't really a lie, but I just miscounted. If you would have like looked closely and looked at all the backup bottles in that back couple rows of the last video, then you would have seen that we had these four sealed La Petite Robe Noir by Guerlain. And there are, again, four of them. So I included, actually I did not include these in the backup count of 18 correctly, because these are not backups. These are four flankers of the line <laughs> that I have not opened yet or played with or tried on. I think I have three that are already opened and and I know pretty well. These I do not know yet. So these are not backups. I'm gonna keep them and open them and play with them and I'll probably do a review of the whole line, you know, all that's available to us here in the, the US. I know there's a couple that seem more exclusive to Europe or other parts of the world. So I'll probably do a full review on all of these once I have more time with them, but they are all sealed and I just had them with the backups in the drawers. So I did have and do still have 18 backup bottles and that, that did not include these four. So these are coming later for another video and they are not backups. So I'm gonna go put them <laughs> with the other perfumes I had. So that's the first lie that I said and actually, it wasn't a lie. I got that one right. There are 18 backups, but it just might have been confusing because these were actually included in that backup row. Okay, number one. Number two is that I said I would post the things I'm decluttering. I said that I would have them posted, and I just did not yet post them, and... They are now um, on my Mercari link. You'll find that in the description box. You can find them there. And then I also sell them for cheaper on Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm Laura Sparkles underscore. 
and I just create a highlight that says perfumes if you go to my page and you'll see all the ones that are there are currently for sale and they're cheaper just because there's no fees or anything like Mercari so sorry about that I totally lied <laughs> I did not find the time to post them by the time that video came up but now they're there um, okay so number three I said that Poison Girl by Dior, the EDP, was discontinued, and it's not. I looked at the Dior website now, and it's back up. So <laughs> I probably bought these backups in haste and unnecessarily because I have still a full bottle of Poison Girl EDP. I have the EDT. I have every single poison that they've ever made. I have, I think I have, even Midnight, even uh, the Tendre... I think that's what it's called, the little green one. And I just have a couple of minis of those, but I have literally every poison ever created. I have the whole line. I will definitely be doing a review on those in the upcoming weeks. But in the meantime, I do not need two full-size bottles. I mean, this is like a tester bottle, probably. That's why it's in the white box of Poison Girl. And then I have the sealed Poison Girl. I feel like I have one poison in mind that I will keep absolutely for sure just one out of the many 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 that I have <laughs> like maybe at least 10 I think I have at least 10 full-size bottles probably or around that so yeah so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna list these two poison girl EDP and I'm not sure if it'll be out I don't want to lie to you again <laughs> I'm not sure that they'll be up yet by the time this video posts but they will be coming soon and if you're interested if nothing's posted please do send me a dm on instagram i'm happy like i just want to support all of us here on this fragrance community especially people that are watching me and following me and subscribing to my stuff absolutely i would love to give you the perfumes you want and love at a good price so <laughs> send me a dm or check me out on mercari these are definitely going to be posted so yay and actually i didn't have this counted towards my count of 172 when i started <laughs> but it still makes me happy to think I'll make some room and and just kind of keep this process going. So that's the Poison Girl lie that I did. I really don't think it's being discontinued, but you guys, if you know anything, leave me a comment here and let me know what, what you think about Poison Girl EDP. Is it, at one point it was not on the Dior site and I think I heard talking that it was gonna be discontinued. So that's why I went nuts and found these two bottles. But I don't even know if it's my top 50, you know, in general so I'd love to hear if anybody has any inside scoop please tell me <laughs> I'm curious and it might sway you know my decision either way all right then the fourth thing that I, I lied about so I said originally I had 172 full-size bottles I looked back on my Fragrantica account and I see that I included some things like these five body sprays <laughs> there's five I have the whole line I know that they came out with a new lotion that I don't have recently I don't know if they have a body spray of that just yet, um, but I do have the 62, 71, 39, the 40, and this one that nobody talks about ever, <laughs> Anita, which to me smells like pineapple, which is not even listed, but they're saying passion fruit nectar and pink patchouli. To me, it smells a lot like pineapple. It's very island, beachy, and I don't reach for this typically i mean i've only had one summer with these last summer and i wore this one <laughs> 39 and 62 and i wore 62 i think this is my second bottle then i also got the big bottle look at that guy <laughs> it's amazing i'm sure if i smell it it'll take me right back to summer vacation last year yeah it does oh you guys you know pistachio salted caramel just beach in a bottle pretty much the whole line actually I would say these three with the Anita so and actually there's not three that's just a duplicate backup which I didn't count in the, the count of 172 <laughs> but these are all super you know summer delicious and number 40 to me is actually I wore it a lot during the winter and it was kind of a lighter berry vanilla Oh, you guys, this is really good too. I had the lotion. I went through the whole tub of lotion, which I have so many lotions that that was a surprise, <laughs> but it's just such an easy 
reach. It's just berry. Well, it says black amber plum and vanilla woods, but to me it's just vanilla and all kinds of berries. And it's really easy and delicious. So that to me is more winter or fall. To me it's more winter. Like it reminds me of Christmas and berries and all of that. And then I'm sure you know 71, which is also, this to me is more fall. So if I were to say I would wear this 71 during the fall, this I would wear in the winter. I mean, I did. <laughs> and then, and then all three of these are summer. And I guess there's nothing really spring that speaks to me for spring, but oh, they're all just so good. And I am going to keep my backups of these because they're so inexpensive and the summer's coming. And you could spray them like mad because, I mean, look, I went through quite a bit of this and I've not like I wore it every day, you know, I have all these other fragrances, but it's just a light body spray. Do you guys include your body sprays in that perfume count? And what I did, I just left them there so I would, you know, have easy access to the notes and and reviews and all the things on Fragrantica and I think I'll just leave them in the count. <gasps> or maybe I should take them out, then I'll get an extra five spots. <laughs> How about this? I'm open to feedback. What would you guys do? Would you count these towards the final 50, top 50? To me, it's more like lotion almost. It's not actual perfume. It is a scent. <laughs> Trying to talk my way out of it. Tell me what you do, please. I'm confused. At this point, I'll just leave them in the count of my total. <laughs> so these were included. So that was part of the lie. I also included some really small bottles that I don't know if you would include these and maybe I'm just trying to figure out the rules of what counts towards my 50 and I also want to make sure that I'm you know just you know being real with you and what my collection really looks like and all these things so what I do have and I do feel like I should have counted them and I did are these three the perfume bottles of Chanel and these are counted towards my total and you guys did not see these in the last video just because I was afraid to put them on the bed in case they spilled. I mean, cause they're kind of fragile and the topper actually stays on pretty well considering it's just this little glass plug, but I was just want to make sure they didn't spill all over my bed because it's one thing to have a lovely perfume <laughs> in a little bottle, but it's another thing to have it spilled all over your bed, which I have done once. I had a little travel size and like this, travel size of Delina by Parfums de Marly that spilled, completely shattered the little glass. It's not as sturdy as you might think. <laughs> and it spilled all over my bed. So I know what that's like and I didn't want to do that again. So these are included. In Actually, these two seem like the most popular out of this whole line, Jersey and Beige, or the most purchased. I don't know if this is the most popular, but the more mainstream of the line. Mm. And Jersey is this lovely lavender, you know, very Chanel. All of these just, is, there's such a footprint of Chanel that they all, they all have. I think beige seems like it's the most outside of the line to me. To me, it's more of like a summery, tropical Chanel, but the least Chanel <laughs> of the Chanel's. <laughs> so these were counted and I will continue to count them. They're little 15 mil pure perfume as you say that way, perfume bottles, had included this too. And I probably wouldn't at this point, it's just so small, right? Like these little micro, if I included everything the size, cause you guys, I have so many minis, travel size. I mean, here's just a couple that I had, like I just have tons of those all over the place. So I don't think I should count this against my final count. So I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah, so this size is 15 mil. And to me, that's a good amount of perfume that you just dab on your wrist. These are tiny compared to the 15 mils. I mean, what are they? This may be a third, a fourth of the size. What are these? Five mil? Does anyone know? <laughs> There's no uh, size like number on the bottom. So it's hard for me to tell, but I think I'll take this off the list and not count them. And I could just look up the notes when I need to. And what I might do is start a new list on Fragrantica that just is like my smaller, size bottles or, you know, things that I'm playing with that aren't necessarily full size. And that way it'll be a, a better count of 
full size bottles because that's really what I'm getting down to with a 50. Because if I included all these <laughs> travel size or whatever, we'd be in trouble for sure. Anyway, so these were, I think these were the original four that they did after number five back in the 20s. So number 22, Bois de Ilz, the Cure de Russie, and Gardenia. So that's this little set, and I think it's so cute and lovely, and just a, a nice way to get to know those fragrances. I do have so many Chanel's. I mean, come on, just so many. Yeah, so I'll definitely cut out these little tiny things, even maybe this, I have um, number 19, the perfume, which I might not keep. I'm on the fence. It's a very green fragrance, and I do love 19 Poudre, which I mentioned in the last video, but... I'm not the largest fan of number 19, so I might get rid of that anyways. Um, yeah, so, yeah, things like this I will not count. These little cocoa perfume. I also have this really old vintage number 5. And look at the juice has just turned. It reminds me of, like, a dessert wine or, you know, how it gets so rich and thick and... It's so amazing that it still has a lovely smell. Mm, it smells... It smells like number five, for sure, but then it, it also reminds me, again, of, like, this aged... It almost has that, like, dessert wine. Oh, it's good. It's like when, when it gets caramelized and in, like, wooded barrels, and it's just... It actually gives me goosebumps too. Like this is, there's so much hist history in this little bottle. <laughs> like it really just transports me back in a magical way. So out of all the number fives, I might just keep this little bottle to smell on because there's just so much richness and history. And it just feels so special, really, that I could have something this old that still has juice left that I would dare not wear. I mean, <laughs> it's not my favorite fragrance to wear personally. And also... It's just such a lovely, just to smell it from the bottle is such a lovely treat. So this I'm for sure keeping. And then I also have this, and these were not included in that count. This is the Cologne Concentration Number 5. It has that same caramelized, even more. Look at how thick. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's like molasses. <laughs> or like syrup. And it's similarly aged quite a bit and, and has that same character. Mm. And again, you can still totally smell that number five DNA, which is fantastic. It's very special. I'm really happy I have these. I think it's a nice little piece of history <laughs> to have them. Okay, also in the count that I have on For Granted Good that you didn't see on the bed were things like this. And you may recognize this beauty. This is Ylang and Gold by M. Mikolaf. I have quite a few of their full-size bottles, and the juice is really pretty. It gets this swirly let me mix it up oh my gosh look at you guys let me focus i just mixed it a little too much where i have a lot of <laughs> bubbles now but do you see this juice it's just so beautiful the the gold shimmery this is so yummy i feel like this is a lovely summer fragrance but then also it's kind of special in the winter too. It's just so unique. And the reason I did it, this is why I did not put on the bed because the atomizer is in the cap. Some It broke somehow. It was totally my fault. And the spring I lost and I just couldn't figure out how to get it back to work again. Oh, it's so good. It's like this custardy banana with all these florals and vanilla. It's just decadent dessert but like a dessert that would be appropriate to eat in the summer evenings still <laughs> but very rich and delicious so and actually a shout out to M. McAuliffe and the team there because I had emailed them and just asking is there a way I could just get a replacement atomizer and I showed them a picture and they sent me a whole new bottle which was so generous of them but in the meantime I didn't want to put this on the bed because it would have leaked everywhere like this one for sure you could see is leaking <laughs> and it's just standing upright so if anybody has any ideas of how i could fix this gem because i do love it i would keep this for short look at how beautiful 
And I much rather spray than dab. I'm a sprayer, not a dabber. <laughs> so any suggestions would be helpful. But yeah, so I didn't include things like that. I have, you know, some other bottles and things, but that was the lie, you guys. <laughs> that was that part of the lie. And also things that were kind of small, like this I did include. This is a one ounce bottle. It's, uh, this is, so you know I have the Keke Fle La Originale. This one I spoke of. This was in my top five developed in 1912, or at least released in 1912. One of the most beautiful fragrances. If you love florals, it's a floral balm. There's some powder. There's some green, dewy freshness. It's just everything. And so, of course, I wanted to try every flanker <laughs> that I can find. And one of the flankers I have, I think I have uh, Jardine and um, oh, Royale. And this is another one they have, this Roses, Keke Roses. And this is just a one ounce. So I don't know, should I include this in the count? It seems kind of small to me, but I mean, really, I usually just get large bottles. So I don't know, let me know what you think. And this one is, may or may not stay with me. It's definitely, I, you guys know I love florals and I love rose for sure. And other things too, not just those <laughs> two. Um, but this one is, it's like fresh roses. There's definitely a vintage vibe for sure. Like it could smell like bath products or, you know, like a powdery dust that a woman 50 years ago would have dusted all over herself or, or even longer by now, 70 years ago, like in the fifties, it kind of has that vibe to me. So bath products and just walking out with roses all around you, but then also some white florals, maybe gardenia, jasmine, those types of smells, even though they're not listed in the notes. Three notes listed on Fragrantica are rose, floral notes, and fruity notes, which I don't get any fruit personally from the cap anyways. I've only worn this a couple times and it was some time ago. So anyways, still playing with that. I had listed that in this total count. Should I, the question is you guys, should I <laughs> include one ounce bottles in my total for the 50 bottles I'm trying to get to? That's the question. <laughs> so let me know what you think. And this is just a backup that I came along a uh, one ounce of the original. I have the 3.4 ounce, you know, the hundred mil and then the extra of this one. I mean, this is, I also have travel size, you know, have all kinds of things <laughs> for, for, oh, this is Royale. Okay. Okay. Flo Royale. Royale. This is a very powdery. This is more like fall time, a fall time wear versus, you know, the spring summer of the original. And then I have some travel size. I have all kinds of stuff. So like, I'm not counting this stuff in my count. So let me know. I'm trying to figure out what exactly, maybe I'll just like get down to 50 and, and then kind of refine <laughs> things and figure it out. So just in case, if you sat there and counted, I did not have 172 bottles on the bed. <laughs> That's part of that reason. Um, but I had very close to that. You guys also, I think I'm ready to part with these backups too. As I was looking through this whole backup process, this is one I'll list for sure. I already have Delina Exclusive as a backup. I have a full bottle of Rosé, La Rosé already. I don't think I need this. It's not, I'm going to keep Exclusive this like, you know, top five. So that makes sense to me. But this one, although it's lovely, I don't know if I'm that in love with it that I need a backup bottle. I'm going to be very strict about this for me. So this one I'm going to list on Mercari or, you know, Instagram, it'll be there too. And I talked about this last time too. This is Untold Out Fresh. This is Elizabeth Arden, a cheapy, a very lovely kind of woody citrus, a very light fragrance. And it does remind me of, of um, Chance Out Fresh by Chanel, although much cheaper and without the patchouli. I, I know I mentioned this last in the last video, if you caught it. The notes in this one are white tea, mandarin orange, and pear on the top. Middle notes, orange blossom, freesia, lily of the valley, and at the base, cashmere wood, musk, and vetiver. And it's just a really lovely, I've never heard anyone speak on this 
ever in the community and it's just a lovely and expensive I think I found it in the last video I linked it I found it on fragrance X or one of those fragrance net for like under 30 bucks for a large bottle and it's really nice if you're looking for something fresh if you're not into patchouli but you like you know the idea of chance of fresh I would definitely check this out and it actually kind of looks similar it's a round green bottle <laughs> so it's kind of similar to chance of fresh so I think I might list this. I still have a full back or, you know, a full size bottle of it. And I have so many fresh fragrances that I don't think I'll go through it this quickly. And it's still somewhat around and I wouldn't be devastated if I didn't have it in my collection. So I don't need a backup of it. I just found it and was like, Oh my gosh, nobody's talking about this. And it's discontinued. And I just bought an extra box of it. <laughs> so that's what I did. And maybe I didn't need to. So I will be selling that. Another one that's discontinued that I will be selling also is this Valentina Poudre, and this whole line I love. I mean, I have Valentina Pink. I have, I think I have four of the line, and I don't like the original, but I love all these flankers, and this one, I have a full-size bottle, so that's one reason I'm getting rid of this, and I also have Narciso Rodriguez Poudre, and I think I prefer of the two, I prefer the Narciso Rodriguez Poudre, it has more floral, maybe a little more woody. This one is very powdery, almost like hypnotic poison, but not as Play-Doh-y. Anyway, so I don't need this one as backup. So this one I'm going to be selling as well. And it's so lovely. If you don't have Narciso Rodriguez Poudre, or if you have it and you love it, or maybe hypnotic poison, I would definitely recommend trying this. It's a lovely bottle and delicious. So, and I still have a full size bottle, so I'm not saying goodbye forever. I'm not sure it may or may not make my top 50. <laughs> we'll have to see how that goes, but I don't need backups. I'm just really trying to start clearing things out. So these are the things that I will be selling. And I also think, so I found, I have this travel size of the Mont Blanc signature, you know, for women. And I spoke on this also in the last video. This is another lovely, lovely vanilla citrus. It's very, very, very sweet. And I think my nose has just changed and evolved a little. Well, I do love it still. It just feels a little too sweet for me now. And I actually wore it around Christmas time. I had traveled and I just had, you know, a couple of fragrances with me. This was one. I also had the Love Don't Be Shy travel size, which I actually have here just because I had it in the closet and they both you guys I wore them and they both just felt so freaking sweet to me like way too sweet <laughs> where I don't know I think I have to be in such the right mood to have something like this sweet to wear and so the long short of it is that I'm going to keep the travel size and I'm going to sell both of these the full size bottle and the backup so this is one case where, again, I bought the backup <laughs> while I just like found this and started playing with it. And I do like it. And I, I just don't think, just because it's so freaking sweet for me, it's, I think, a travel size. Like, with the amount of perfumes we have in some of these collections of ours, <laughs> even having, like, going through this travel size, even going through a, a decant or a sample, like... <laughs> will just take forever. So I think this will be fine. I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. So I will be selling these too. So this one I could take off my list. So I'll give you an updated list of the counts. I can calculate that. <laughs> I have to go through and figure out where I miscounted and, you know, take off some of those smaller perfume bottles and that kind of thing. I think I will leave on the one ounce bottles because, I mean, some people only buy one ounce bottles and they would count that right so i think i will leave on these but i will not leave on these like tiny little perfumes like something like this is like microscopic oh my gosh even looking through the camera it's like so tiny <laughs> so these i'll take off the list so that'll get rid of a, a few so i'm guessing it probably might be something like 160 i don't know 64 or 160 bottles we'll see i will leave on I think I will leave I don't know you guys should I leave on in the count do these count as perfume bottles 
They're just body sprays. <laughs> I think I'm going to take them off. You tell me, what are the rules here? I don't know. <laughs> I just know that I need to get rid of a lot of perfume. That's what I know, just based on space and keeping things all straight in my brain. So that's it, you guys. I mean, really, I just wanted to come clean on all those things I realized after filming this last video. Do you like the video on the way out? And we'll see you in the next video. All right, bye guys, kisses. <laughs>